No, seriously, hello. This creature right here is called an Hello Sphinx. My name is Bart Coppens and my mission is to document invertebrates on social media. Today I was in the country of Brazil where I found these fascinating hog moths. I found the Hello Sphinx. They are interesting enough to deserve their own bug highlight episode. Let's get started! This is Bert Coppens and welcome to my bug highlight. This is an interesting species of hog moth. So what is it? This is Aeneas Ello, the Ello Sphinx. It's also known as the Cassava Hornworm. This species is extremely common near human settlements because it is actually considered to be a pest on the cassava crop. Cassava in Brazil, also known as manioc, is a plant commonly farmed by farmers in these regions and one of their major host plants of this insect. At night, hundreds of moths can be seen swarming all over the cassava fields. This species seems to have a massive distribution, including, wait for it, Canada, Mexico, the United States, in Central America and the Caribbean it is found in Antigua, the Bahamas, Barbados, Belize, the British Virgin Islands, the Cayman Islands, Costa Rica, Cuba, Dominican Republic, El Salvador, Grenada, Guadalupe, Guatemala, Haiti, Honduras, Jamaica, Martinique, Montserrat, Nicaragua, Panama, Puerto Rico, St. Lucia and Trinidad Tobago, the United States Virgin Islands, and all the way down to South America, Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, French Guiana, the Galapagos Islands, Guyana, Paraguay, Peru, Suriname, Uruguay and Venezuela. Whew, that is a lot of countries and that is a large distribution. This species is considered to be a pest on food crops. And this insect mainly attacks cassava or Maniot esculenta but also rubber tree, Hevea brasiliensis, and sometimes pawpaw or caria papaya, but also other species of euphorbia such as euphorbia pulgerima. The caterpillars of this moth are green, but they can also have darkish brown forms. They also have false eye spots that they can expose to point uh, towards predators that bother them in order to intimidate them. This species is presumed to be continuously brooded, as far as I am aware, they don't really hibernate in cold temperatures, which means that northern uh, populations are strays or migrants, or are perhaps imported with human food crops or goods, which is not unusual for pest species. More research on their cold tolerance would be interesting, however, to see what climatic conditions dictate their range, and how climate change would enable their range expansion towards northern latitudes. At night, after mating, these moths feed from flowers, hovering above them in a hummingbird-like fashion. These individuals were found and consecutively photographed within the Natural Reserve of Regua. Regua stands for Reserva Ecológica de Guapiazu. Regua is a natural reserve in the Atlantic rainforest in Brazil that collaborates with me and supports my work as an entomologist and my YouTube channel in order to document the insects in the reserve and document them for scientific reasons, but also to draw awareness for the reserve on social media. If you want to learn more about the hog moths of Brazil, I greatly recommend the website brazilhogmoths.com, a website by Alan Martin, my colleague and friend from Regua who is incredibly knowledgeable about hog moths. The website contains hundreds of pictures, many species information and keys to identify Brazilian hog moths. It's very clear a lot of passion, attention and care has been invested in the development of this website. Go and check it out people, it's worth it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time friends. Every day I will upload awesome close-ups of insects from the rainforest. Bye bye.